still listening. I know this is late. I just been tired and just been busy after work, but do I really even have to put this video up? Cause y'all already know how I'm feeling after that win. Uh, mm, 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 mm. No touchdowns. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, I said it's gonna be a close game going into the half, but the Eagles are gonna pull away in the third quarter. And sure fucking enough. Sure enough. So, <clears throat> defense not allowing any touchdowns, three measly field goals, offense scoring 30 straight points in the second half, we getting return touchdowns, we getting picks, Darby got a pick his first game back, McLeod, Jenkins, I mean, fuck, this team, oh my god, alright. The D-line, Derek Barnett, rookie with two sacks. His second multi-sack game. Has Vinnie Curry ever had one of those? No, I don't believe so. So you can't tell me Derek Barnett won't be at least starting. He'll be definitely be starting next year. But he is eating into Vinnie's snaps. Because he's got, what, four and a half sacks? Five and a half? Five, five and a half sacks, something? Um, the most that a rookie had was Fletcher Cox, five and a half, 2012. Um, uh, and the last rookie to do this, what Barnett's doing, was Trent Cole, um, the hunter. So, he's already fucking, this, this, this year's draft class, wow. Okay, you got Barnett, Jones, hopefully he comes back, Douglas. Um, Hollins, Gibson, both made the roster. Nate Gary, um, shit. We didn't have that many picks towards the end. Gary, fuck. We had another guy. I don't even remember for some reason. Oh, Trey Sullivan. I think we signed him back onto the practice squad. Um, then we got our undrafted rookies. I mean, we got like, hmm. No, he was on practice squad. So we got we got a few undrafted rookies that actually made the team. So Howie, none of this could have been done without Howie, because this team, the chemistry, the love, the bond, the just everything about this team, I fucking love. It's special, and um, we're nine and one, y'all. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to start saying, yo, Super Bowl run, we going to be in the Minnesota, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just saying, 25% of the time, teams that go 9-1, they win the Super Bowl. I'm just throwing that stat out there. I'm not, I'm not saying it, right? I'm just throwing it out there. So you can catch that, put it in your pocket for later. You know what I'm saying? But, um, of course they fucking wince. Can I just say how much I love him? Like, I fucking love him. Him and Alshon are just heating up. I don't care what y'all say. Alshon Jeffrey's not going anywhere. He's not going any fucking where, okay? He has never won a playoff game, okay? The Bears never won. All that money they're throwing at him, he want to win, okay? He want to win playoffs. He want to win ranks. And if he could do that with a young quarterback, with a team that's got weapons, he's not going to be the only person fucking getting the ball or getting attention. You got a good defense. We're in a great division. Great football, fucking football town. I mean, why would he leave? Especially if we go to the playoffs this year. We're the number one seed. Why the fuck would he leave Philly? And people are like, oh, more money. He don't want money. He want to win. Okay, at some point, these players, either you want to win, win a fucking championship or you just playing for fucking money. Okay? Alshon is playing for the ring. He going to be here. So... Cowboys, they're done. Five and five. With Zeke, without Zeke, you're done. Okay? Eagles, we just getting injury after injury after injury and still fucking busting ass. Okay? Busting ass. We just blowing everybody out the fucking water. And now, we got to get ready for this Bears team. We got some good Thanksgiving games, but mm, I'm really going to be watching to see the fucking... Redskins lose and the Cowboys lose. I'm hoping the Chargers just fucking destroy the Cowboys. Um, but yeah, th these games this year, they aren't that juicy. Maybe the Lions and Vikings game. Um, 
But yeah, I'm ready for the Bears game. Um, I'm gonna be tailgating at the stadium, so you know this bitch is hype. And it's time to go 10-1. Um, we're not playing on you, what you fools. Fuck you, Cowboys fans. I know y'all mad. I know you hating. I know you're going to have mad excuses after this fucking video. But you know what? You can take that excuse and you can shove it right up your motherfucking ass. All right? Burgang out, bitch. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.